Now, when Mike and Brayden uh, invited me out to do some fossil hunting for these troglodytes. Trilobites. Trilobites. For these trilobites. Um, I know there's rules here. There's laws here. Be Hello my friends, I'm Mike Diggins. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be looking for some fossils. We got trilobites on the route. We are looking for these 200 to 250 million year old fossils in Cranbrook. It's a pretty cool place. We've heard tell that there's some full body trilobites that you can find. You may even find an apothecarius or some other such interesting and rare creatures. We're not sure. Hope you'll stay tuned to find out with us. So as with a lot of things in the winter, fossil hunting is a little bit more difficult in the fact that the ground is covered in snow, it's icy, it's a little hazardous, walking around can be a little hairy. Um, and you have to do a little bit more work to uncover the, the material that you're interested in looking at. Right, so we're just raking through the snow here looking for thicker, larger pieces that look good to crack open. And when we find those, we crack them open, splitting them along the length side. When you're doing this in the winter, you're definitely going to want some nice insulated gloves. It's cold. Insulated boots, you know, your standard winter fare. Then you just come outside and have some fun. Cracking open rocks all day. Wear safety glasses. Wear glasses. You know, don't take the squinty eye method. Better safe than sorry. So I'm out here at our fossil spot with Dan and Brayden and we've been cracking open some rocks here and I found a few fossils. We got this mortality plate going on here. We got this little guy there. We got that little guy there. And we got a bigger one over here. There's a little one right there. Man, this rock's just loaded. Pretty excited. Um, these rocks are anywhere between 100 million, 150 million years old. Pretty interesting little trilobite fossils in them. They're a uh, little sea critter that uh, would go along the ground, uh, like the ocean floor, picking up detritus and, and scavenging for, for just dead things. Dead plants and animals that it could eat. And uh, they're pretty cool, pretty cool little critters. Their relatives are living in your basement right now. They're called pill bugs. Oh, a mortality plate is a plate of rock that has multiple dead organisms fossilized within it. So it was one event like a landslide or a slough of silty material that covered up a whole bunch of things all at once. And wherever those things were living, that layer is going to be called a mortality plate. And that's where you're going to find multiple organisms, multiple fossils in one section. Mikey's killing it. Look at this, he's found three already. Braden and I haven't found one yet. Not even one. Not even one. Fossil King. Yaha. Yaha. Yep, the first one had a little guy in it. There we go. We're on it. Hey, the gold fume glass products are in stock now. Go visit hiddenvillagecreations.com before they're out of stock. If there's a promo code available, you can find it in the video description. Also, hit that subscribe button, mate. Now go on. So a lot of times with fossil hunting, uh, you get mineralization layers through it, right? And, and a good example is this one where it's pyrites. And these pyrites help preserve the fossil and keep its shape within the rock. But when the fossil is exposed to the elements like this, 
Uh, so you've got a nice plate that's already cracked open. The fossils can degrade and, and, and actually rust and decompose off of the rock. And the longer they're sitting out in the elements, the more they'll decompose, the less of a recognizable fossil you'll find. I just found this plate that's got a little bit of one right here. You can see the red rusty hematite staining, pyrite staining, and uh, he's he'd be gone in another couple of years. Oh yeah, you found a good one? Oh yeah, unbelievable. Like, this, if you pick at it or took it back home and got somebody to clean it up a little bit, you'd have the whole trilobite exposed there. He's ah, little, with the but... powder blasting. Oh yeah, dude, this, is, this would be a really, 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 really nice one. I like it when you can powder blast them all. Yeah. all found a nice one. It's small, but it's a nice full. Lots of detail. That was a big one. Oh, that's oh, a yeah, cool yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. And then that's the back part. You should see oh, how much yeah, detail yeah. is on the inside part of yeah. it. It looks really nice. And it's little. Right there. And then. Definitely the spot, that's what I thought. Let's open this up. Well, my friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. We've done a lot of rock cracking. Dan's done some finger smacking by the looks of it. And we, we've moved quite a bit of rocks here, as you can see. We've got a, a bucket full of fossils. We're gonna send Dan home with all of those here today. And we just, we had a fantastic time. It's warmed up, the sun came out and it is just beaming on us. We couldn't be happier. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. We appreciate it all the time. Thank you so much. Until next time, folks. Bye! Bye!